Here's me, April and Rose, getting ready to ride Goliath at Six Flags over Georgia. <laughs> Look at Teresa's holding on. She's holding on to the sand serpents. Ah, Teresa. Robert on the Kraken!
down. Yeah, you felt that? What? I thought all that shit back there. Lover, look. Here comes the camera. Hold on tight.
we are on Shikra, getting ready to go down the first drop. Chase in your face! Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah. See the chase in your face! See the chase in your face! See the chase in your face! Ah. Rosie, Rosie's not so posy. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Ah! Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro. Ah!
Coming up the hill, yay, 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 yay. It's exciting. I know, there's a camera right there. Quasi.
Yeah. Hold on. Here's me and April on the Wonder Wheel at Cyclo. <laughs> or Pony Island, whatever the fuck it is. It's Pony Island. Uh, she's gonna shit. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're gonna shit. You're gonna shit. You're gonna shit. You're gonna shit. Here we go. She's going to shit. Oh shit, so am I. Oh god, here we go. April, April. is that this was the 1,000th time for each of them. Smith has also logged 3,800 rides on the roller coaster Montu, more than 1,500 rides on Kumba. Smith is a season pass holder who goes to Busch Gardens more than 120 times a year. Gosh, that's more than some people go to work. That's true. He knows everybody <laughs> on a first-name basis, I'm sure. He sure does. Uh, a lot of hours on this ride. Plus, we'll meet Gwazi's repeat riders for a milestone at Bush Gardens. That's coming up next. Now 1,000! And they're off. Bush Gardens season pass holder Alan Smith and his daughter Jacqueline took off for a 1,000th ride on the Gwazi roller coaster this morning. 
He held his sign proud the whole trip through the wooden roller coaster, which has only been open since June, as you know. That means, do the math here, they tackled the Guazi an average of four times a day with a total ride time of 39 hours. Alan and Jacqueline, by the way, got an armload of prizes from Bush Gardens after the trip. They then decided to cap off the day with ride 1001. Why not? Isn't that how you'd spend it? That's exactly how I'd spend it. No word on whether or not they actually had something to eat during that time. <laughs> you know, whether it's a Bay Area man and his daughter are experts when it comes to riding roller coasters. Coming up, we'll tell you why they set a new record at Bush Gardens today. Area man and his daughter rode into the record books today. Alan Smith and his 10-year-old daughter took a ride on the Guazi roller coaster, but this wasn't any ride. This was the 1,000th time each of them had gone on Guazi. Smith's a season pass holder. He goes 120 times a year to Bush Gardens. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Keep an eye on this. I'm gonna, we found somebody really, if we got a microphone, I'm gonna, somebody here in the audience that has done something really bizarre. And you gotta meet this guy. Could you stand up, please, sir? And kind of slip over this way. He's wearing a I Survived Montu t-shirt. And what is your name? Alan Smith. Alan, where are you from? I'm from here, Tampa. This is kind of like, what's my line? Alan, <laughs> tell the audience at home what you did that's so unusual. Uh, I rode the Montu 216 times. I'm going for a thousand before the end of the year. Boy, and you. I'm going to be in the paper next week. This is awesome. 216 times. Now, the Montu, if you're not aware, is the world's largest inverted roller coaster where your feet are hanging down. What possessed you to want to ride the thing I 216 love, times? I love roller coasters, and I moved here from Virginia just because of it. Well, I love ice cream, but if I had 216 <laughs> quarts of it, I'd be in bad shape. There's you a moved, few nuts like me out there. You moved from Virginia Beach here just because of the Montu? Yes. That's awesome, and you're going to ride it up to a thousand up times to a before thousand the end of the year. By the end of the year. But you did get in the newspaper. I mean, yes, today we uh, took shots today. You St. Took, Petersburg Times. You took shot. Oh, you mean uh, photograph shots? Right. I thought it was something because you're wacko <laughs> or something like that. Probably. Anyway, anyway, good luck. We'll look for you in the St. Pete Times, and All thanks right. for joining us Thank here today you. on Harris Live. Okay. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday at noon thirty. Good. good. Now, this is Alan Smith. I wish we were playing the old game, What's My Line? Because then we'd let you guess what he is going to do that's very unusual. Alan, why don't you tell them? Well, what today you're going to be at doing. 2 p.m., I'm going to be going on Montu 2. He's uh, going to be riding times. the Montu, and how many times? 1,000. 1,000 times I on the Montu. Two Hold more to go. So you have already ridden it 909. 998. 998 times, and we'll go for 2,000 this afternoon. 1,000. Which means, I'm 1,000, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't give me a head that far. Which means you've been upside down 7,000 times. His brains are scrambled. We'll see you tomorrow at noon 30 on Harris Live. Good luck to you, Alan, for sure. <laughs>
call this guy a roller coaster fanatic today alan smith rode the montu for the 1000th time bush gardens has recorded him and they do have documentation of his rides smith loves roller coasters so much he says he moved to tampa from virginia just to ride montu so what's next for this thrill seeker you guessed it he says he wants to go on montu another 1000 times if you think you have a montu problem you probably do <laughs> something to keep in mind Bob is again for Drew Sorcery. <laughs> that guy sounds like he's got a little too much time on his hands. I think so. A lot of money, too. It's, uh, it's That's expensive not free, going to right. Bush Gardens. Yeah, without That's a doubt. Sure. You know, for USF, trying to... ...have more ups and downs than others. Hundreds of them, in fact. It's another type of wild ride. You'll meet a man who's rolled into the record books. this twisting and turning is getting to be old hat to Alan Smith of Tampa. Today, today marked his 1,000th ride on the Montu roller coaster at Bush Gardens, if you can imagine such a thing. He thinks he's logged some 750 plus miles on the coaster. He says he goes to the park every single day. He is a member of the Roller Coaster Enthusiasts of America. Emphasis on enthusiasts there, I think. I've never ridden it once, nor will I. <laughs> chicken. You're not alone. I'm in the chicken club. His entire life has been nothing but a roller coaster ride. And you know, you wouldn't be too far off, because that story is next. On a roller coaster buff with quite an addiction. He just loves Busch Gardens' newest roller coaster, the Montu. He can't get enough, and today, Alan Smith challenged the ride for the 1,000th time. So, 1,000, excellent. It's a great ride. I recommend it to anybody who loves roller coasters. And Smith is quite an expert. He's a member of the Worldwide Roller Coaster Association. His seven-year-old daughter is turning into quite a thrill seeker, too. She has challenged Busch Gardens Python coaster more than 350 times. I guess they're making the most out of those season passes to the theme park. Otherwise, how could you afford that? I tell you, and how, how do they have so much time? I don't know. It has been spent in house. line, you know, waiting to get on the ride. <laughs> I think the Montu is just about the ultimate. When it makes that double reverse over here on the left, you don't know which way you're going next, where are you coming out. I like that. Montu delivered an incredible 3.85 G's, a 104-foot vertical loop, and the world's very first inverted diving loop, dubbed the Immelman, after a World War I fighter pilot. I moved here from Virginia because of this ride, because I love roller coasters. And I'm so hooked, I can't get off it. I'm here almost every other day, riding it a dozen times, and so far I'm up to 1,042 times total right now. is a wild ride. 
It is the wildest one I've ever been on. It throws you and tosses you every which way at speeds of over 65 miles per hour. Very unique what they've done to this design of roller coaster. Different inversions, different loops, underground, through ditches, it's the ultimate.